far. We've just driven the inland track. We're going to get a couple of episodes out of this. We'll show you around, see what we get up to on this trip. We've got my brother Fred from Wish 4x4, my sister Lily Beth, um, and Fred's girlfriend and little Chelsea, as, long, as well as Kylie and the baby. <laughs> Looking good for the animals. <laughs> Looking good for the what? <laughs> animals. The animals? <laughs> Looking good for the animals? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Alrighty. Just about to head on to Morton Island. So we're, Fred and I are just about to head out on the boat. It's a bit gloomy, a bit of rain, so we're gonna um, just hook the boat up, go out in the water and have a bit of a fish. Um, got the canopy off. I'm just gonna tow it down. The girls might stay around here. First night, let's see how we go. Try and see if we can catch some fish, maybe some dinner. See how we go, I guess. Alrighty, first day fishing. Nothing. I caught one little fish. I caught one fish. One fish. I don't know what it was. Something with teeth, and it was probably like this big. It's probably this fucking deep ocean sea, and still couldn't catch shit. Couldn't catch anything. So we're gonna make our way back in and get some because We're both hungry. Mm. That was all right. First time out in the tinny in the water, Morton Island. Camp cooking with Kylie. Oh, it's not a thing this weekend. First night on Morton. What is it? Mexican chicken burgers. Mexican chicken burgers. We're not doing a um, episode on Kylie cooking this weekend, but we got something in store for you guys. What's on for breakfast today, Kylie? Bacon and eggs, mate. Bacon and eggs. Alrighty, day two, Morton Island. Rained a fair bit last night, but what we're going to do is just pack up camp, not all completely, but pack the cars up so we can leave, and we're going to make our way north and have a look north, see what's up there. Probably go to Honeymoon Bay and up to the lookouts up that way, see how we go. Just heading down the inland track, going up to some lookouts. I'm um, going to go check out the, the lighthouse. We're going to go check out the lighthouse. Um, so yeah, we just left the shops, just got some ice for some drinks, make our way, look out and have a look at money, maybe Honeymoon Bay. Come back down the east side, make our way across the middle track, and go from there. Are you ready? I was just waiting for, are you excited? I'm ready! So we're just going to go for a walk up to this Five Hills Lookout, first lookout of the trip. Yeah, but not like that. 
Alrighty, heading up to one of the lookouts, I think. Right at the top here, trying to find North Point. We're going up to North Point and looking at Honeymoon Bay, so let's check it out. time on Morton Island. You guys excited? Yeah mate, it's been a really good time so far, driving around, you know, having a look at a few things we've already seen and stuff, like uh, that lookout that we went and seen. Yeah, it's pretty unreal. It's pretty pretty easy in yourself, if you're not being not having to drive and having your... your here to drive for it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. At least I can have a few bevies while we drive around and be good. Yeah, it's pretty good. These inland tracks are pretty bumpy too, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Very bumpy. <laughs> Lily Beth's first time driving driving on the beach and on the tracks and she's a little scared, I think. <laughs> How are you going there, Lily Beth? First time on the sand in a full drive. Um, yeah, not too bad. A little bit scary though. It feels different. Very different. Yeah, it is heaps different. Yeah, but I'm sure she'll get the hang of it after a few days of driving. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Carly, how do you feel? I'm a natural. <laughs> I'm a natural, oh, I'm sure. He's the better driver of the both of us. Yeah, I definitely, yeah, I definitely, yeah. I definitely agree with that one. <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's get our, make our way to this east side and make our way down to the beach to our camp. All right. Yeah, man, because I am hungry. As you can see, torrential rain. Got the bad awning out. My awning. Everyone's underneath. What's cooking? Oh, just making some tacos, getting in the ready to the next step, which we're gonna get ready the protein. So I'm about to show you guys what I did with that. All right. Just got a cooking segment going. You'll have to see in the next coming weeks to actually see this segment come out. Mexican tacos, quick and easy. While camping with your host, Lily Beth Vans. Alrighty, torrential.
last night was torrential rain yesterday. Kylie and I rooftop tent has leaked, so our mattress is completely wet. We've had to shuffle some things around. The swags were a little bit damp on the edges as well. Me and Kylie and Chelsea slept in the, the big double swag. Lilybeth moved to the single swag. I had to snuggle in tight. Everything is just drenched and wet. Fred would really have kept to dry in his rooftop tent. Looks like we're getting a new rooftop tent. What we're doing at the moment, we're just gonna actually go do something today, regardless of the weather. Alrighty, so we decided to leave camp and uh, make our way north, go to the Buller shops, just get a few supplies and probably head over to like Blue Lagoon and um, the lighthouse. And what a challenge has it been, eh? Much, we're driving on the inland track and there is that much water across the tracks and there's the along the beach there's that much that washouts are so big like we got to one the first one and we're like no we're not driving in the not driving in the salt water to get to this washout to get to the other side of these washouts and then we got pulled up along the inland track and this guy was like oh how do you get somewhere we're like oh this is our first time too tried to help him and he was like oh we didn't ask where we were going we we're like oh we're trying to go to blue lagoon and he was like oh don't even don't even waste your time and he said the washouts were like five car lengths long and you had to drive like into the surf into the sea to do it to get through and i was just like yeah i'm not doing that so we're just making our way back we're going to try another track go through the middle there's a track along the middle there Alright Kylie, tell us about it. What is it and what is its purpose? It's a lighthouse. And it's where the light keepers lived. The three houses of various houses have been seen here are evident in the early 19th century labor intensive lighthouse operations. So pretty much this is where people live to operate the lighthouse. Oh. Alrighty, so we're just doing a little bit of a loop. Having a look at this lighthouse and where these people used to live when they used to be the lighthouse keepers. What's it say here? Lightkeeper Thomas Griffin and his family from 1869 to 1883. Thomas Griffin worked as a lightkeeper at Cape Morton, living here with his wife Mary Ann and their children. In this 14 years as a lightkeeper, Thomas endured the heartache of losing his wife and three children. That's no good. 11 children! They died from 11 children. Hectic. They didn't die from 11 children. Marion died at the age of 37 during a difficult labor with their 11th child. Oh. Hectic. All right, made our way south of the beach. Kylie's driving. She's having a ball now. We're actually um, walking to the Blue Lagoon. Shame it's not good weather. We'd be swimming, wouldn't we? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We're just gonna go have a, have a bit of a sticky beak and um, see what it's like. I guess. All righty, leaving Blue Lagoon. Thoughts? I mean, it's not like Mackenzie, but... It's not, isn't it? I I was... It'd be nice on a nice day, I think. If it's nice and sunny, the water would look better. <gasps> yeah. But it's not really enticing me, that's for sure. No, definitely not. I was, And there was about 100 kids there. It was just not... Um, relaxing. Relaxing. <laughs> Climbed through here before and it was a little bit deeper than what it was just then it was over the bonnet and everything and it was pretty nuts we were driving in down this road here and I was like saying to Kylie I was like oh slow down this looks like it's pretty deep and the reason I said that is because look someone's front bar is here must have come up come through there 100 mile an hour and it's just flown off how nuts eh 
Oh well. So we're just gonna make our way back to camp. My turn to cook tonight. Pizza pockets. How good? Do you like eating? Yeah. Like real good? No, I got my bottom half. Yes. <laughs> Is that the sun? Lucky I didn't call it oh, quits. Oh, were you gonna call it quits, were you? Yeah, I was. I was the